Hey guys, in today's video I have a haul. Let me situate my hair here because it's looking a little crazy. I have a haul. It's a collective haul for the last couple of months or so. I went to Target, TJ Maxx, and then I also have polishes from Indie Brands as well as um, some stamping polishes here. I'm not going to mention them in any, I don't think in any particular order because I have everything in this box. But I'll leave the polishes um, for after all of this like makeup stuff and skincare stuff. So I went into TJ Maxx and I went there because I needed to get a rug for downstairs. We just got our carpets cleaned and the entryway, the stairs in the entryway were so filthy dirty. I actually have to go back because I need to get another rug for the actual stairs. I got one today for the entryway because we have one outside but nothing inside. I thought I would stop by the makeup section. A friend of mine had told me that they found the ABH lip palette there and I checked their section just to see if I got lucky and I did. I got a little lucky. Look at that. I've been wanting this little palette for since the moment it came out and then I kind of put it to the side and just completely forgot about it. So I went and th you know, hoping that I could find it. And I did. And this is awesome. This is actually for my kit. I would never need to carry any kind of bullets or anything like that because I can always mix and match. And the best thing about it is that it comes with primary colors, which is great. You can always mix and change up the color a little bit. So that's um, that. And then I also got this Burberry palette here that came in this box. I already took everything out and it came in this little fabric pouch with a little pattern which is really cool the the bag is felt and then it comes with little brushes here it looks like it's an angled brush a sponge applicator and then a natural hair one right here which would be great for travel but the palette is looks like this it's not too heavy i thought it was gonna look heavy because it looks heavy i thought it was gonna be heavy but it's not it doesn't have too much weight to it which is nice because i can travel with it but it's really neutral and all of these have some form of sheen to them. I haven't swatched them at all. I won't swatch them in this video either until I wear them. But I think these two would be great for one shadow looks, which I'm all for on a regular basis. So, And it, either way, this would be nice just to pair up with any other, any other eyeshadow. So pick that up as well. I found this Elizabeth Arden Eye Renewal Cream. I believe I've heard that this is really good, but I can't remember. But I figured I would get one because I'm almost out of my Laneige under eye cream. I'm just about out of that one, so pick that up. So I'm hoping that's really great. At Target, I did pick up a Eucerin Advanced Repair Lotion. Usually I carry these in my purse, but my daughter got so blessed recently and she got eczema on her hands, which... They get everything from me. Nothing from my husband. My husband doesn't have eczema, doesn't have allergies, doesn't have anything like that. It's all from me, so you're welcome. So this is the Advanced Repair Cream. Usually, I buy the Eczema Relief, but the Eczema Relief comes in a large tube, not a small tube. I wish it would change that, actually. That would be great. Um, so got this for her to carry in her backpack. And then I got a face oil. I haven't bought any kind of um, skincare stuff in months. I want to say at least four months. Because I was really trying to work through a lot of the extra other skin skincare stuff that I had in my basket. Uh, because it's just sitting there like makeup removers and all of this other stuff so i held off for a long time but i cannot hold off anymore my skin is so thirsty so i picked up this botanics oil this is the 100 percent organic with a rose hip nourishing face oil uh for all skin types so this is meant to moisture or add hydration to the skin which is exactly what i need right now it smells very herbally i already put it on today and i feel like it added the right amount of moisture but without making me uh, feel or look greasy <clears throat> let's see what else did I get at Target I got a couple polishes from Target here where did it go where did that nail polish go? oh here it is I got a Sally Hansen complete salon manicure this one is called guilty party which is a metallic it has some bronze and silver shimmers um, so it's a shimmer polish, but it looks super cool and super metallic. And then I got a cream uh, from Orly. This one is called Hip and Outlandish. Which looks super cool. I just picked these two up today because I went to Target and TJ Maxx today. Everything else, it's, it's quite a bit old. And then I picked up from the drugstore, I think at a Rite It a few weeks ago, I picked up a few of the Sally Hansen with their new packaging. I picked these up mainly for stamping because these 
tend to be really good for that but of course I can use these for just a complete manicure this one is called Heather which is the pastel uh, purple and then I picked up Racing which is the pastel pink. These are all creams by the way, and this one is called white on time um, and I really like it. I like the that they changed the writing in the front. It's really really nice about a week ago I picked up two Revlon polishes. These are part of the holographic line and I was really looking forward to it because holographic pearls is really awesome in the hollows I mean, it's just a ton of rainbows on your on your nails and I thought these were gonna be the same they're not they're not the same they're still really beautiful and I still do recommend them but if you're expecting a ton of hollows on the nails that's not what you're gonna get with these I already tried this one on and I can already tell this one's not gonna be any different this one is called unicornicopia which is the purple one and you can see little specks on the nails but the hollows in here are so sparse I mean there's far and few in between in here I don't know why they did it this way I'm not really sure because they had a really great opportunity to to do it just right you know and so I'm, I'm a little confused by that still really great still really beautiful though and great formulation it was a pick and two coats that one was this one is called um, galactic pink which is the pink holographic again same thing as the other one it looks like the the hollows are far and few in between in there but it looks like it's going to be the same as the other one. I placed an order at Lip Love Polish not too long after I featured a Lucid La La Land from Super Chic. And I picked up some more Super Chic lacquer and then I picked up a picture polish. I only own one other picture polish and that's Alice which is so pretty. And this is the taupe. I put this on my friend's nails and it's so pretty. Formula's awesome, opaque to coats. I mean, it's just it's just really great. This is the taupe and it has micro holographic glitters as well as it looks like some flakies in there as well. Um, not large flakies, they're kind of smaller on the um, size wise. But anyways, this one is called Merge. So that's Merge. And I picked up Zombie Crush from Super Chic Lacquer. This one is a little surprising though because on the website it doesn't look as dark as this. This looks really dark, so I was very surprised when I opened the package. Um, and this is a linear hollow. This one is called Swoon. And this is the pink. I have Realm of Erotica, and Realm is more red and definitely more warm, warm tone to where this one's more pink but leaning cool. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, and then I got Rum Billy because, you know, I was already wanting to get it and you guys just kind of <laughs> shoved me over the edge and I went ahead and picked it up. So these have really awesome formulas, um, but I mentioned in my nail of the day on Lucid La La Land and because I've already worn Rum of Erotica, I'm not a fan of Super Chic's brush. It's really blunt. It's a really blunt cut, so I have to be super careful with application. So I'm hoping these are a little bit different because... Lucid Lala and Realm both have the same say have the same kind of brush, so I'm expecting that these do as well. Uh, formula seems to be really great. The two that I've already tried had amazing formula, but I gotta tell you, I don't really see the linear hollow. Um, you see the holographic, but it's not the, I, the the linear is not really heavy, which I don't normally have a problem with. I just expect it a little bit more. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, so anyways, picked up these three, and they were on, I think all but one were on their sale section, but this was weeks ago, I mean at least, at least a month ago, I want to say. Uh, I placed a Bundle Monster order here, and <laughs> I placed this order because Naomi Daily from Instagram, I'll link her down below. If you haven't checked her out, I don't know where the heck you've been, because she's awesome. Her nail swatches are amazing, her nails are beautiful, I just adore all of her posts i enjoy every single one of her instagram stories she featured um their tropical hues collection i think that's what it's called from bundle monster and their electric glow i think that's what the the line is called uh i can't remember which which one of these polishes is from what collection but i'll link bundle monster down below if you're interested these are mainly for stamping but you can of course wear them on their own this one is called marmalade which is the orange one and the sun's going down. This one is looks like a periwinkle. This one is called Mercury Bass Line or Bass Line. B A S Oh, Bass Lime. What? Okay, I need my glasses. 
And then uh, the pink one here is called Candy Spirit, which is a mint tone pink. And then this one's so pretty. Oh my god, I can't wait. What's really cool about Naomi Daily, Naomi Daily, Naomi Daily is that she will stamp these on white and black so you can see how it shows up, uh, which is awesome. This one's called Jungle Mirage. That's really pretty. All right, and then I also placed an order for a stamping plate here as well. Um, same thing, also from Bundle Monster. I had it upside down. And the whole reason why I placed this order is because of the dripping paint right there. I mean, the rest of them are really pretty, but um, the dripping plate, um, this right here is what sold me on this plate here. I did place an order for Moonshine Manny. I've been wanting to try her polishes and really like support her just in general, you know? And I wanted to buy polishes from the Princess Bride collection. I don't remember the exact name of the collection, but I knew I wanted to pick it up because that is one of my all-time favorite um, movies. Ever. I love it. Uh, this one is called <laughs> My name is Inigo Montoya. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. I love that line. <laughs> he is one of my favorite characters in that movie. So these are, I think she calls them Crelly, if I remember, but they're not uh, opaque two coats. You definitely do require three coats. And the reason why she did it that way is so that the flakies can show up and they do. So this one I was able to get opaque at three coats. It had a really good formula and I am a super fan of her brush. Oh my God, I'll show it to you guys in a little bit. So these are really pretty. Let me show you guys the brush here because this is an amazing brush. Holy, do you see that? It's wide, but then it's perfectly rounded at the bottom. Everybody needs this brush. Everybody needs to do their brushes this way. And then I have As You Wish, which is the blue one. And this has a ton going on in it. I expect nothing but perfection from this polish. This is so beautiful. And I also picked up one from an older collection. This one is called Can I Keep You, which is a purple linear hollow. And I picked this one up because I love the Casper movie. And I always tell my daughters when I smother them and, you know, I'm all over them and stuff like that. I always whisper to my kids in their ears, Can I Keep You? Which I think is so sweet. It's so cute. Great formulation on this one. I have already put it on as well. This one seemed to be a little bit thicker. So I had to be a little bit more careful, but the formula was still good. It was just on the thicker side. That's the only thing I have to say, but drying time was really great for this one. All right, that's everything, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a little nugget coming in right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. No! No! Oh, wait, oh my god, no! I just picked um, the older sister up from no! school. No! My tooth came up. Why do you know it came up? All right, I'll see you guys later, guys. Bye. <laughs>